Hello everybody, I'm the Distressed Princess. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm excited to have you here. These are the DIYs that I'm working on for today. This is the morning meeting with my little buddy Piper. He's my crafting helper, so I always have to keep him apprised of, you know, what order we're doing the DIYs, you know, and how we're all gonna make it go down. So now we break and start DIYing. For the mail holder, I'm using this house that I found at the Dollar General for only a dollar, and I really thought it was cute all on its own, but I decided to try to do something a little bit more with it. So this is a sign from the Dollar Tree. They have these multiple seasons, so they're not hard to find. Pop the bracket off of the back and then remove the raffia bow from the front or any details that might be on your sign, remove all of that. If there's any glitter, which they're notorious for putting a lot of glitter, sand that glitter down. I'm using Waverly chalk paint from Walmart and it is in the color Moss. And Piper, you see, reminded me, put the lid back on that. You're not ready to paint yet, mama, because you haven't laid down your wax paper. I use wax paper or parchment paper from the Dollar Tree to protect my surface when I'm painting. And I would have forgotten if it wasn't for my little helper. So see, he's good for something. I did two coats of paint on all sides to completely cover the block. And it looks darker on camera because my lighting is kind of bad, but it, it turns out a really pretty sage green color. The next step is to attach the house using a hot glue gun to the wood sign. And didn't that make the cutest little mail holder? I'm gonna use it for my outgoing mail. The second DIY is more of a makeover or an upgrade. I bought this topiary tree from the Target Dollar Spot for $3 and it's cute all by itself, but I wasn't particularly very enthused about the paper sack bottom. It's cute enough, but I thought it could be made better. So I'm using a placemat that I got from Hobby Lobby last spring. I'm sure it was at least 50% off, so it only cost $1.50 max. And so I'm going to wrap the bottom of this topiary pot with this placemat. I start out by just wrapping it up and getting an idea of the width of the placemat that I'm going to have to cut. And honestly, I could have been precise about this. I could have gotten out a tape measure and measured and all that, but you know, sometimes it's okay just to eyeball stuff too. Plus, the placemat made it really easy because there were sort of lines to go by so my cutting stayed straight, which isn't always easy for me to do. I didn't pass cutting straight lines in kindergarten, I don't guess. and then secure everything in place with our trusty hot glue gun. I wanted to pop in here and also let you all know how very grateful I am that you watch my videos. I am so excited to almost be at a thousand subscribers and I am just so over the moon about that and I couldn't do it without each and every one of you that subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. I really, really love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. 
The next embellishment is some ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I know they have something very, very similar to this at the Dollar Tree, but I just have not been able to find it at any of my Dollar Trees. But I found this at Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off, so it wasn't that expensive. And I just love the colors in it. So, and I'm a stripe kind of girl. So this is what I'm using to decorate the topiary tree. And of course, just hot gluing it down. I, you could do a ribbon around the top, a ribbon around the bottom, but I just went for one simple ribbon in the middle. Also, no bows today. I'm feeling streamlined, clean line, no, no bows and frills today. Um, just simple, I feel like simple is better today. Don't you think this is so much cuter than when we started? I do. The last DIY today is using this bucket that I also found at the Target dollar spot. It was only a dollar and I love the colors. I'm such a fan of that sage green color. And these are two of the teeny tiniest little picture frames that you find at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to attach these picture frames to these wooden dowels also from the Dollar Tree. Now, here's a tip from Sammy Veltry of Unicorn Dust Designs. And if you haven't seen her channel, I'm gonna link it down below. You have to go see her. She has the cutest ideas and, and she's very smart because she told us about these dog toenail clippers from the Dollar Tree being used to cut these wooden dowels and skewers. So I got a pair and first I had to figure out how they work. <laughs> There's a black, little black, lever switch thing that you need to flip and that opens up the clippers so that you can cut with them. Piper interjected here and he really wanted me to give him a pedicure but these are dog clipper toenail clippers. I don't I'm not sure that they would be all right for cats. I don't know someone let me know maybe I could cut his nails. I don't know but anyway, we didn't have time for that. Not time for pedicures, Piper, it's crafting time. Here is my first attempt using these to cut that wood dowel. And did you see that? <laughs> that wood dowel was a flying projectile across the room. <laughs> but it worked, thanks to Sammy Veltry. <laughs> The second one didn't go flying. Um, the second dowel, I decided I wanted it to be a little shorter than the first because I wanted different heights, different levels. Um, but yeah, the second one didn't go flying across the room. I like to use the soft floral foam that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And did you know that some people like the sound of this foam being cut? So if you're one of those people, I'm leaving the sound in for you.
I loaded up the little picture frames with these super cute little monsters that I happen to know and take off the backs that make them stand up because you don't need those. If the little monsters are watching, Auntie loves you. Now attach the wooden dowels using hot glue on the back of the picture frames. Now we have little monsters on a stick and I want to put them in this pot like they are flowers growing out of the pot and so first I stuck them straight up and down inside of the foam but then I decided I didn't like them straight up and down so I kind of put them in at an angle. Then I used leftover reindeer moss that I had gotten at Christmas time at the Dollar Tree to fill in the top. And I hot glued that moss down and I layered it up because I wanted it to be nice and fluffy and soft looking. And for a final little added touch, I'm gonna use this sticker from the Dollar Tree and it's like a, 3D sticker, it kind of pops out. And it has, it's already got a little sticky thing on the back, but eh, I didn't expect it to be sticky enough to stay stuck to this wooden dowel. And this wooden dowel was just probably the piece that went flying across the room earlier. I had already cut it. And anyway, I attached that little wooden dowel to the sticker with hot glue. And then I put the little sticker down inside the pot and I had to go through a few layers of moss so it was a little tough getting through there but it did go. Wouldn't this be the cutest way to display the pictures of your little monsters for spring? Here's a look at all of today's projects all together and looking so cute. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm so happy you did. If you're not already a subscriber, please hit that button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. Bye.